I ordered this the other day, this is my hydrometer to test my batteries. Um, you can't believe this, it cost £1.62, right, delivered by DHL just a few moments ago. And um, there you go, can you believe that, £1.62 delivered. I just don't know how they do that at all, not a clue, uh, just mind boggling. Uh, so I'll be testing my batteries now, uh, I waited the hydrometer to come, I've got my drop tester. It's only electronic drop tester, but I'll be checking the batteries shortly. Thank you very much. Right, good afternoon all. I've had to wait for the spare part to come in today. <laughs> you could say I'm a spare part anyway. Uh, my hydrometer, and um, I'm just going to use that in a, a short while. I've made a list A, B, C, D for the four batteries. I disconnected my solar panel and uh, left the charge controller here and the batteries have dropped to 72% overnight uh, there is a small 0.3 amp coming out of there um, which I think is just the lead to the solenoid uh, these are the batteries um, looks like a bit of a mess um, but I've just marked the batteries A, B, C and D I think A and B are the ones I might be having the issue with but I don't know yet so and I've marked the tops one, two, three, one, two, three, etc., or whatever to check the cells. So I'll check the cells first. Uh, I might have to remove some of the wires to get the caps off. But if I do the back two and uh, work out the readings, so that's about it for the time being. And see if I can get to the bottom of the problem of the fridge and or the batteries and or whatever else it could or may be. Right. Um, I've just done the hydrometer readings. I haven't um, filmed that because uh, with the acid and everything else, and as you can see, you, you get quite a bit everywhere. Sorry, I've just spotted another little bit. Sorry, just move my camera. Right, um, so I've checked all those hydrometers and this machine is a drop tester, it's an electronic one. And what you've seen here, and I've put it on here uh, to check the 12 volt. I've done each one of them as a 6 volt and now I'll just check them as a 12 volt. So if I put that on the negative and that on the positive, you'll get a sweep on that needle there. Press the load test and pretty much okay, good reading. I'll disconnect that because you're only supposed to do it for 10 seconds. If I do the individual battery, I've got to be careful with these cables catching other cables. If I put it onto the 6 volt, you'll see that it reads 6 <sighs> Right, I know you you uh, just see a massive wires there, but I spent a little bit of time and wired the fridge in direct, um, uh, which is fine. I've still got the uh, solar panel disconnected. Uh, the battery is reading 68%, drop of about 3D 3% uh, over 24 hours again. Uh, but I've still got a 0.3 amp by this saying is a problem and I think the problem is this MPPT um, because I've uh, don't ask me why I read a few reviews about it and basically it's uh, not that you can see it very well um, but it's supposed to be MPPT but it's got PWM up here and uh, basically they get slated um, they're all just variations different makes different names you know you name it so I've got the Victron on order should be here today which is Thursday and I shall fit that in and see how we get on with that. I wired the fridge in direct. Um, I've still got a few things to do in here. Um, this switch does blind you but it doesn't go anywhere now. That's for the fridge so the fridge is going to have to be switched on direct inside. Um, as you say it's just a question of coming in here and holding the button for about three seconds. It lights up and it kicks in but of course at the moment I have got no solar running so I'm gonna click it back off so um, and that's about it can't do a lot more at the moment till I get the controller and uh, so we'll off and uh, wait and see put my stuff away um, bits and pieces crimpers you name it and uh, we'll see how we go from there cheers well, it finally arrived, and it's uh, I don't know what time it is actually. Uh, I haven't got my watch on. Oh, it's about six o'clock. I ordered this uh, last night just before six o'clock, I think, or just after six. And it's arrived within 24 hours. Amazon service again. I bought this one, which is plenty big enough. I've just checked my 
um, solar panel and it's actually 200 watts I thought it was 250 but it's a 200 watt so this should be adequate for it and I blew my note so I have to pick the right one anyway um, cheers folks all right this is the uh, state of things at the moment um, oh, no, I don't want that one um, there is some voltage coming through about 2 amps and it's umping the batteries to 13.5 and there's two sevens current bulk on and then if you press history you'll see that there was nothing here it was just uh, bulk 100% that one it was 100% and this one now it was bulk 67 28 at ABS and floating at 5% this is current today um, I don't know why we have to keep going in there like that. Now, what you can probably see is the temperature on there, which is the middle one, um, is 10.2, which is too warm for a fridge. I bought a thermometer, a digital one. Um, let me see. Which is this, 10 quid. Now that is showing I'm going to open the fridge, I've opened the fridge a couple of times at the moment. Can you see that? Two degrees. And I've just turned the fridge down and it's just showing no fault and it's showing the amber which is nothing but just a fan and I've turned it down to number three. So what I'm going to do now is wait and see about another temperature and we're about... Uh, it's about three o'clock this afternoon. Cheers. Right, uh, good morning all, good afternoon, uh, good evening and welcome. Um, this is about the Dometic CRX50 uh, fridge. Um, I've had issues since I bought it a few weeks back and uh, it's, a, it's an issue that has multiplied and uh, there's been, I'm trying to get this camera right, uh, don't want you looking up my nose do I? Anyway, um, and, the, and there's been one or two issues and I've, I've must have filmed this two or three times over the last few days and uh, so hopefully this will be the once and for all um, when I bought the, the Dometic compressor fridge uh, I changed out my uh, three-way fridge gas electric and 12 volt because um, it, it just wasn't keeping temperature and, and the gas kept blowing out uh, which was unusual I don't know why but anyway um, I decided that I would go for the compressor fridge that everyone seems to be saying that is pretty good. Now let's get to the, the issue. When I connected it up basically I had a power issue and so uh, on the CRX, uh, on, the, on the fridge, I won't keep saying CRX50, but on the CRX50, I've said it again, um, there's a fault code that flashes up and it's an orange one and it kept flashing up one which is a, a power uh, voltage problem. So I'm looking on that and I was because I was away and I was touring around a bit I couldn't really do a lot so when I come back I got onto it straight away I got an hydrometer checked my batteries uh, checked my leads uh, done a drop test on the batteries the six volt batteries and of course I have them in is it super or parallel anyway uh, and of course I joined them in 12s so I checked them as 12s checked them as sixes and everything seemed to be fine all well within the green zone um, even though the voltage was okay in the 12.6 ish or something so yeah and then I checked the wiring well I've wired the fridge now direct from the battery with no switch apart from the internal switch of the fridge um, so that was that one issue just in case uh, then secondly it come back to the solar charger now the solar charger was supposed to be an MPPT solar charger but for some unknown reason it, it, it isn't, it isn't and that was my mistake and it's a PWM anyway um, so I swapped that out as well although it was giving me good readings as I thought on checking on YouTube and various other places uh, they're basically rubbish and although they show a good charge my batteries weren't holding the charge in other words literally um, within a couple of hours the batteries have dropped by their readings to about 70 percent and i thought that's just strange but I, I, I thought it was just me i thought i had two duff batteries 
So I've just swapped it out now for the Victron and uh, got that sorted and organized. Now for the last two to three days, I think it's about three days, I have been testing the Victron because um, you can test it on, not test it on your phone, but you can check the readings on the phone. But I have to walk down there because the Bluetooth doesn't stretch all the way up here. So I've been getting the temperature reading. Now I have a temperature sensor reader that's in the fridge that was reading on the outside to another control. Now this kept showing higher temperatures. So I bought another internal thermometer, a little digital one. It was a tenner, so it weren't cheap. Plus I used my fridge thermometer from my fridge in the home to see if I can make sure I can get this sorted out. So the next problem was, is the thermometer, the, uh, the one I'd got for originally, was showing a false reading. Now, that was a very frustrating thing, but I also knew I had power problems anyway, so it wasn't just the thermometer. Because when the fridge was plugged in, it automatically senses, and if there's not enough battery power, I'll just simplify it, battery power, it turns itself off. But what it was doing was turning itself off and then a millisecond later or you know half a second later it would click back on and it kept clicking on and off all the time it would run for a minute minute and click off then it would run for a minute and click off and then sometimes when the power was there which is the solar and the sun it would run for quite some time and click off soon as I lost some of the solar power of an evening time, it kept doing the same thing again all through the night. Clicking on, clicking off, clicking on, clicking off. And of course, I'm only going by what I can see at the time being away. So the problems were, I possibly think, solar charger. I'm not sure the wiring direct was going to make a difference, but I've done that anyway. And now I've checked the thermometer. Now, the other thermometer now I've been checking, so also I've been checking, you have four settings on the fridge, uh, evidently medium to cold and uh, colder. So I added on number four. Now, when I started rechecking the thermometers, it was down to one or two degrees, which was fine. But the one on the wall, which I'd had for some time, was still showing seven, eight or nine, indicating it had a problem. Then I reset that and the temperatures now come to within two degrees of what it's reading in from the other thermometer. I also checked my normal thermometer that you stick in the fridge, you know, as I call it, a normal shape thermometer. And that showed in the safe period as well. I also then went and checked the fridge and set it to the number three setting instead of the number four cold setting. And it did go back up, which I'd expect it to to four degrees and held there. Naturally, I've been going backwards and forwards as in up and down and checking every four or five hours, morning, in the noon time and whatever. And plus also checking that my batteries on the history of the Victron, I know she's going on a bit, but I'm just trying to make sure I get all the points covered. The Victron was showing that it's bulk charging, absorption and a small percentage of float. dogs downstairs when we can hear that anyway mainly it was for the first few days absorption was a lot massive you know it was like massive charging the batteries so the batteries were going from about 13 volts up to about 14 14 and a half volts um i've left it running since i put it in there which is since i think friday i think uh you know and it's monday morning so at the moment the fridge seems to be running okay I think I've sorted and organized myself to accept the fact that the fridge does work. When I check on the history of Victron, um, I don't seem to have any issues with the batteries. I have no indicator lights on in the fridge. So, and of course the fridge is empty. So naturally, um, you know, it would hold the charge better, hold the temperature better with food in there uh, because that's the whole idea. But at the moment, the fridge seems to be running acceptable. And what I'll do now is spend the next day or two perhaps sorting it out, boxing it in, because it hasn't been boxed in now, but it's still working. The temperature is, is to my knowledge, I think about one or two degrees. 
um, and on the temperature on the outside unit that was showing six it's about two degrees or two and a half degrees out so my an original so-called thermometer that's in the fridge and then the readers on the wall that showed about 6.7 today and the internal thermometer showed four and I thought there was about a two degree discrepancy so um, I shall ignore the one on the wall and make sure I keep an eye on the one in the fridge because I think that is the one that's more accurate so that's the the saga of the Dometic fridge as much as I run it down I'll eat a bit of humble pie you know and saying that it was a question of as you can say probably three items you know so to me if you fit one of these fridges you better make sure your batteries are up to it because the fridge will keep turning itself on and off you better make sure you have a decent solar charge system which hopefully I've now got back to which has cost me more money as you know and uh, check your thermometers you know it's simple because it's a question of probably three major issues that caused this issue in the beginning so and of course there's no temperature control no there's no temperature reading you can see in the fridge this has gone on a bit so at the moment i'm going to put a cautious thumbs up about the fridge it doesn't seem to be on all the time but i'm not in the van all the time at the moment well my next travels which is going to be a few weeks i will certainly keep an eye on that and i'm leaving the fridge on all the time because of the solar and the batteries i'm not going to turn it off especially for the next week or two and i shall still keep monitoring anything that's of an issue i'll come back to you so i am apologizing that if i would slag the fridge off it looks as though it has and does improve with the issues sorted i hope that's clear anyway enough said about that uh, blood test today um you know because i've got a, a trip planned and uh, i'll follow more about that later anyway um new mugs are coming soon love you all and you you know i mean it you know who you are bye